You start pulling your weight around here, start making some money. But, 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 wait a minute. Money, money doesn't mean anything to me. It does to me. Can't afford a paying job for you. Ah, it's such a spoiled sport. I'm out. Welcome back to another Plasticon review. Today we are going to do a little bit of Japanese stuff for you. Yes! Japanese. Because we all love Japan stuff. Anyhow, moving right along, we have an exclusive Henke figure here for you. I'm going to give you a quick look at the packaging. It's got a nice picture of Sunstreaker there. A little bit of Japanese stuff for you. It says Transformers on the side. It's even kind of raised, which is nice. It's got a nice weird circle thingy in there. There's the top. Got your Autobot emblem there. It says Takara Tomy. And flipping it right over. See some nice artwork here. You don't get this artwork anymore, it seems like. It seems like this kind of thing died off in the 80s, which is awesome. Anyway, shows you that they have some nice chrome accents, chrome gun, the little pop-up head gimmick, and there is your cross-cell stuff. And on this side, absolutely nothing. Moving right along, came with a collector's card. There's your collector's card. It's pretty nice. And here's the back side. I just love it when you get something. And it's got extra bonuses like this. Anyway. It also came with some Japanese stuff I can't read. The only thing on here I can read is... Uh, where is it at? Takara Tomy Fan Stop. Go over and check out that site. It's pretty cool. Came with its instructions, all in Japanese. It's really nice. It's just like the American instructions, just it's in Japanese. Anyway, came with a little manga. Most of you guys don't know how to say that word. I should slap you. It's manga. And guess what? Unlike America, it opens backward. Gotta, gotta love that kind of artwork. You don't get this stuff in the States. This stuff is imported to comic book shops. You could like find that in your local Walmart. Anyhow, moving on to the toy. Here's Sunstreaker. Here's Sunstreaker next to who I call Peekaboo Prime. Yes. It's Peekaboo Prime. He's now going to become my legit size comparison guy. It measures up pretty good. Anyway, we're not here to review him. We're here to review this guy. Here's Sion Streaker. It says we are 84 on the back. You can already tell it's got some nice chrome tailpipes going on there. A nice chrome fin. Chrome accents here. Even this stuff here is a little more glossy. Autobot emblem. Really, really, really nice detail overall. 
the color of this is slightly different than the one in the US. This has more of an orangish hue, which is really nice. I'm really digging that. Moving on to transformation. First thing we do, pull this off. Next thing. Oh yes, look. Barely any robot kibble. But anybody else that has this mold, they would know that. Pull the little chrome gun off. Look how shiny that is. It's shiny. Super shiny. I love Japanese stuff because it's it's something about the way they do their things over there. It just it seems better. The quality of this thing. I have two American versions of this mold and this seems better. I don't know what it is. Anyway. First thing I always do, kind of pull this apart a little bit. Get our doors ready. We always do that to kind of loosen the joints. That way you can start separating the doors. Now this is the most finicky and tricky part of if anybody has this mold, they know this. That's the most trickiest part of the entire transformation. Anyway, no wiggle it loose. Sorry about that. I'm out of frame. Wiggling it loose. Move these doors to the bottom. Hydrofoil car. Come on, why not? And pull this all the way out, just like we always do. Next thing you do, kind of pull the legs back a little bit, pull them all the way back, and go about that far. Take your part here that separates, and then you just move them back, set them back up against the legs. Separating legs. Straighten this out a little bit. Right here, there's a little tab. Pull that. Kind of pulls the foot out. And then rotate it around, just like so. Same thing on this side. Root. Hate this direction. Now something you're already going to notice right away. These are painted. Not painted on the American version. What's wrong with them? Anyway. I don't have the Henke version of those. Will one day hopefully. Anyhow, this little piece of transformation, pop that up. And we will pull this entire part here out. Now as you're pulling this out, you see this little black piece that's in between the wheels. That part there you kind of need to rotate. Kind of rotating it forward like this. As you do that, it should be enough space here. And then, well, you can either rotate it forward or backward. I tend to get confused on it. <laughs> You're supposed to rotate it backward. Sorry. It happens. What do you expect? You have 15 billion of these guys, and you're going to try to remember how every transformation is. Insane if you know all that. Anyway, moving this back just like so. The door kind of out of the way a little bit. Then, I know this arm is going to be flying up in the air here in a second, but fold this whole thing forward. This little piece here we pushed up will actually set into this little waste area right here. It's kind of finicky, but you can get it. It's not too hard to do. Sometimes. There we go. Right in. Clicks in a little bit. Doesn't exactly click. It just sets in there. Then, next thing we're going to do is take his arms. Drop them down. As you're doing that, you have to kind of push the um, 
shoulder pieces up forward just like this. Then, next thing we're going to do, rotate his arms forward, hit the door, rotate it backward, just like that. His arm forward. These doors here do swivel all the way around the entire arm, 360, so it kind of doesn't matter exactly which direction you go with as long as you get them over to the sides. Now you can put them underneath if you want. I tend to try to keep them over the sides. This is a little loose now. I don't know what's happened. I only transformed this guy maybe a couple times. But it seems like the quality is a this just seems heftier. But anyway, going to turn the chest piece to a solid click. There we go. Epic head reveal. Bad thing about him, he does not have any light piping. But he does scream awesome. Last time I checked when I was on eBay, this particular guy was going for like a hundred and something dollars. Like a hundred and twelve or something. Primarily because he's very rare. And this thing here, you can clip over the gun, but why do you want to do that? You got these two holes here in the back. Take those two pegs, put them in there. Then fold these in. I fold these in all the way on this one. Because this kind of gives it a different look compared to Sideswipe. There we go. It's got that nice backpack going on there. Looking spiffy as ever. It's got the same type of articulation the rest of them do. Ankle pivot movement everywhere. These guys can actually get in some pretty dramatic poses, which is awesome. That's why I absolutely love this mold. This mold has got a lot going for it. I mean, it's even got a waist swivel on everything, so you cannot complain one bit. So, thank you Hasbro and um, Tommy Takara for coming out with this mold. This mold is awesome. That's why it's been reused so many times. There was a BotCon exclusive that was double dealer I think was the recolor on O is he was like a teal color with like pink accents and stuff which was sick I, I really want that one and there was also another one that was a punch counter punch that was an exclusive if you can ever get all that one that's pretty sick because it actually has two different heads the head thing has like a little shift thing where you move it back and forth where this is the chest or this is the chest, which is nice because there's a lot going on there. Because this mold technically could be two different robots. It kind of is already. Kind of like the uh, Will Jack and Trax mold. I have to admit, Hasbro knew what they were doing there. But anyway, I'm going to set him right here. And then I'm going to take Peekaboo Prime here. See? Peekaboo! I mean, come on. It's just funny. Is this like. Seriously, it's freaking Peekaboo Prime. Peekaboo! 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 I'm gonna start using this guy for size comparisons. It's just funny. Anyway, put his feet down. And move his arms. However you want. There's spring loaded in the shoulder, so I can do this all day. It's ridiculous. Anyway, this is just a kid pop-up toy. It's funny. I think it's like hum it's humorous. My girlfriend gave it to me because she found it at like a local Goodwill, and it was in a box of like a ton of other random robots and transformers she brought home. So. <laughs> I have to admit, it's kind of cool. This thing actually... Uh, for a second there, I thought I actually had a rift swivel, but I guess not. 
Not bad. Anyhow, there's Peekaboo Prime next to Sunstreaker here. On to my recommendations. Yes, yes, and yes. You cannot go wrong with this mold. It is awesome. It's one of the best molds I've seen. And it's been a long time since I've actually gotten some more Japanese stuff in my hands. And it was like, wow, this is nice. I was lucky because I actually found it at a local comic shop. They were selling it for a lot less than a hundred and something dollars. It was roughly around 50 bucks. But it's Japanese. And you can't get it here in the States. Which means the price of it's going to be a lot higher. Especially since that mold's kind of gone. I mean, they haven't done anything else with that mold lately. Kind of wish they would. There's a few other ones that they can honestly do. I actually think they did a breakdown as well. If I remember right, but why not? But anyway, this has been Plastic On. This has been another review of silliness. And I will catch you guys later. Peace, y'all.